Thank you. Um, I'd like to invite to, to the stage uh, Debbie Lander, who we met uh, initially as our curator, producer, funder, and the conversations we've had since then have gravitated on a number of different levels, but interdisciplinarity uh, has been one major one, as well as um, audience participation. So Debbie, um, please come onto the stage. studious. I've been taking notes all day and I'm going to attempt to um, address the question of emerging themes and um, give a provocation. So I've got lots of notes. So this may well come out like um, spaghetti um, as opposed to any clear structure, if you bear with me. Um, but I think firstly today it's like the infinite variety of what a lab can um, be um, was um, really one of the clear themes I think today and anywhere from um, process and an inquiry through to actually um, production. I arrived today with a viewpoint that um, labs are never about making things, they're always about pure research and the outcomes are um, puts it into a different space but actually I think I might change my mind as a result of the conversation today. Um, <clears throat> and secondly, the public value, the value of the lab as being a kind of way in and just giving people, whoever those people are, professionals or public, an opportunity to actually just do something new and to play and experiment. I think that's got an immense public value and human value. So in terms of the learning agenda, I think there's lots of ways of articulating that. And then of course, the third thing, which um, from the background that I come from is pretty much the focus for my engagement with labs, but today's discussion I think as well, which is that it's um, value for sector um, innovation in terms of um, research and rapid prototyping and things like that. So I, um, I've been trying to be a good girl and keep to the agenda and um, and I wrote some things um, about to respond to the question I was given, which is what makes the perfect lab? And I've got 10, ten commandments, yeah? 10 commandments. And so I'm just gonna read them. And, um, and these, this came out of me listening to what all of you were talking about today. So firstly, ways of acting. Secondly, the art of hosting. Thirdly, conversation and collaboration. Context and communication. Clear expectations and defining outcomes. And public engagement in research and process. Citizen inclusion, that's number eight. Yeah. Real time and live action. And clarity around time and place in relationship to the purpose of the lab itself. Focus on subject, not the form, allowing the form to emerge through, through the process of creating and experimenting. And then the final thing was diversity and inclusion across people and form. So as many diverse viewpoints and skills and experiences as possible in the process of ideation, development and production. And why? I guess towards the, um, the goal of perceptual diversity. So they're the Ten Commandments for what makes a perfect lab. And, um, and I think in terms of the provocation, I had a number of them today, which I've been changing around. How long are we doing for time? Okay, so I'm going to do two then. The first one is actually, it strikes me that labs are um, part of the evolving um, infrastructure for co-evolution. And I was interested to see whether one can start to articulate the development of labs as actually the evolution of global consciousness. That's one. And the second one, which is far more practical, which is a thing that's really current in my mind at the moment, which is about the need for new leadership paradigms in the arts, and particularly um, system change, and this whole imperative of resilience yeah, and building sustainable organizations. So as opposed to talking about labs in terms of the creation of um, artworks or um, design projects, I'm interested in organizational design. So my question is actually how can labs create cultures that behave like living entities and consequently replace organization and empower artists to do the things that they're best at? Thank you. <laughs> 